Welcome along to another of my piano tutorials. This is um, an ABBA song called Waterloo. And um, I dropped an earlier ABBA song and it was pretty well received. And I think it's because um, obviously a lot of people love ABBA, but they're an interesting band to be able to play on the piano. But they do often play in, in tricky keys. So I've done what I usually do. I've transposed it to an easier key. It's in the key of C. And I've also made a focus on the chords. So rather than individual fingers, I've just gone from one chord to the next. So if you learn all of the chords, this song will be much easier to play. So when I say learn all of the chords, unlike a guitar, you can play C lots of, lo lots of different ways. Um, and it's all gonna depend on the next chord as to where you play each individual chord. So if I wanna go from a C to an F, I often play this inverted C. Um, and I switch to that kind of F. But of course F can also be played down here. So I would recommend learning most of the basic chords um, and that'll make this song a lot easier to learn. Um, it's also a good song because it's got a lot of blender chords and I love playing blender chords. That's where you're sort of on the left you're doing one thing and on the right you're doing another thing. On the left today I'm going to sort of try and focus with one finger. Um, I try to use two fingers. Um, and one day I might even learn to use three fingers, but it, obviously the more fingers you use, the more um, fuller the sound. But I'm just going to start with one finger here, but on the right I'm going to be playing the full chord with three fingers. So I'm going to start with C, and I, in, in the right I'm actually going to play this uh, inverted C, so it is it's G, C, D. And we're going to go from the left hand, we're going to go from C to B to A, to G, very simple, so just down the line. But we're gonna hold this twice because in the right we're gonna go from C to D. So that is D right there, and D is uh, A, D, and this F sharp is actually a big part of the D chord. But we're holding the C here, so. Mama at Waterloo, Napoleon did surrender. So you see what I did there, so I went from C to D, but then as I move down, this B blends well with the G chord. I'm going to use the G triad, and then I'm going to go to A, which mixes well with F, and then I'm just going to go to a normal G. So we sort of bounce back and forth with that triad there. So, Mama, I want Napoleon did surrender, and yeah. So a slight variation second time we go down. And I have met, sorry, I keep the C. And I have met my, so we're gonna do the same thing. G, uh, G with a B. Destiny. But this time we're putting an extra bit in. So when we go down to the G, we're actually gonna play a C in the right. And then come down to a G. And then up to an A minor. So the A minor is, pretty much the only clean chord there, so let's go down. And you have to hold this A minor for a little while. The history book on the shelf. So you can hit this note here. It doesn't ruin the chord, whereas some notes you'll, you'll hit and it'll ruin the chord. That's okay. That's not okay, so. You gotta hold the A minor, so. The history book on the shelf. Okay, so now we're going to go down. This is sort of the bridge. So from A minor, I guess we sort of go down to the G and this blender chord here, which is, it's a D on the right, and it's that F sharp. Like I said, that F sharp is very connected to the D. So the history book on the shelf. Now what I do is instead of going to the, the G on the right, I actually play, because it doesn't make much of a difference. I play the C on the right. And the reason I do that is because it makes it, I think it makes it easier for me to go to a D. Whereas if I'm down here, I've got to move everything up. It really doesn't matter. So let's try it. Book on the shell. Slowly repeating itself. Okay, so we'll move to that. So the bridge is A minor to G to this 
it's kind of a D chord, but you, you're leading with this F sharp. So the history book on the shelf is slowly repeating it. And we're going to go down again. Now, here's the easiest way to do to do this. And it sounds okay. I think it sounds okay. But really what we're doing is we're going G, F, E, D. So if you like, if you want to make it sound a little better, I would go G, F, now this is an E on the left and a C on the right. And then we're gonna go to a G mix with the D. That's important, that has to be like that. No way you're gonna play a D, so. So you can sort of go. And people can hear that we're building up to the chorus, but if you really wanna be fancy. And that is it, now we're ready for the chorus. And this is pretty much the whole song now. So the chorus, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do it my way and then I'm just gonna show you how, um, well you can do it any way you like. So, Waterloo, I was defeated, you won the war. Waterloo, promised to love you forevermore. Okay, so I play C, Waterloo, I was defeated, you won the war. And so on the right, I move up to an F, um, but I actually lock, I keep the the left hand as a C. It's up to you, but you could actually go C up to a full F. And you can move up to a full G as well. What I do with the G, with my G's, I'm playing two fingers again, aren't I? But G, I play the G, C, and the D, and it has this, what I call a unresolved G. G. Just to make it sound more interesting, but you could play it like this. Waterloo, I was defeated, you won the war. Just straight to an F. Straight up to a G. Waterloo, promise to love you forevermore. And then hit the G. So it really doesn't matter which way you play it, I just like to play it my way, I suppose. So Waterloo, I was defeated, you won the war. Waterloo. Promise to love you forevermore. So I'll try and play that a bit quicker now. Mama, I tried to hold you back, but you were stronger. And yeah, it seems as though my only chance is giving up the fight. And how could I ever refuse? I feel like I win when I lose. What a loop. And, and that is pretty much it. So not a, not a lot of chords to learn, maybe nine or ten, but a lot of those blended chords. And I think it's a great song to learn about all those blended songs, uh, blended, blended chords, I should say. So if you ever want to write your own song, they're great chords to use. And to me, it opens up a whole new world compared to, say, the guitar, where you tend to only ever play clean chords. So I hope you have fun with that.